Can you get a Medicare supplement if you are on disability in Oak Park, Michigan? Millions of Americans are enrolled in the Medicare system as a way to pay for their health care expenses. In order to be enrolled in the system Americans must first meet basic requirements. For example Americans need to have a qualifying disability or they need to be over the age of 65. After these basic requirements are met participants must select the Medicare supplement plan that is best for their needs and budgets from a wide variety of options. Discovering which program is best suited for a participant's unique needs can be a challenge as there are various options associated with some plans but not with others. Therefore many participants use the services of insurance advisor to help them navigate through the Medicare supplement system and menu of choices. Getting the right information is critical to ensuring that participants are enrolled in a Medigap plan that will not only ensure they get the best health care coverage for their health profiles but also for their financial situations. Part A is also known as hospital insurance because its coverage is focused on reducing participants' expenses for their hospital stays. Part A covers many inpatient care requirements when a participant must visit the hospital or stay for a prolonged period of time. It also covers a portion of skilled nursing facility hospice and even home health care. Part A may not provide coverage for unskilled care and participants will be required to pay for co-insurance deductibles and some uncovered expenses related to their stays. These uncovered expenses may be covered by Medigap plans which provide supplemental insurance for Medicare Part A participants. Part B is also known as the Medical Insurance Medicare Plan because it covers many outpatient services provided by a healthcare provider. Part B also provides coverage for some preventative services that help participants to stay healthy and decrease the progression of any illnesses. Part B is sometimes called the Supplementary Medicare Insurance Plan because of the breadth of coverage it provides. Part B is also very affordable. The annual deductible for Part B is only $135 for 2009 whereas the annual deductible for Part A is $1.068 for 2009. However Part B may only pay 80% of fees for approved charges requiring participants to pay for the rest of the fees. Part C is known for providing advantage plans such as PPO or HMO plans. Part C plans are implemented by private healthcare companies that are approved by Medicare. Participants receive their health care services directly from these private companies. Generally Medicare Part C includes Part A and Part B coverage as well as a prescription drug coverage plan. Part D is the program that helps to cover the cost of prescription drugs. This part can be used in addition to other Medicare plans to lower the cost of prescription drugs while helping to protect prescription drug costs from rising in the future. Many participants find it helpful to speak with experienced Medicare advisors for more information about their options including information about Medigap or Medicare supplemental plans that may help to provide additional coverage on top of their chosen plans. Speaking with an experienced advisor can help to ensure that participants get the best health care plans for their needs at prices that are right for their budgets.